Well, I'm here at the Delaware County Fairgrounds. I just got here. Uh, Gypsy Hill is in behind, right behind me. He's about to go jog after the second, then after the third, I'm going to zip him. He hasn't, he's trained plenty without hobbles on and hasn't raced, but hasn't raced for a year without them on almost. So, mm. more than a year without them on. So, um, I just want to make sure everything's working appropriately with our boy Gypsy and go with him. Now, I spent all morning, all morning finishing up the buckets. I took, took in all the emails I could regarding the buckets, especially the, the top bucket, the, the premium horse bucket. And it did bother me that, that as it shook out, we didn't have a horse for the premium horse bucket. Now, what would we do? We had a horse. She just didn't go for a premium. That was Aunt, Aunt uh, Sarah. She was going in that bucket. She just committed with $55,000 light. Good for us. I thought I would do everybody a favor and put the other top filly in there. Now, uh, Megan's Lucky... Is that a name? Megan's Lucky... Uh, Megan's Lucky Lucky Day. Um... I just figured I'd put both the good fillies in there. Be a treat for everybody. Now, the one problem I had was I did that a couple years ago and people complained that they wanted only one horse in there, not two, which is fair, which is fair. I understand that completely. Doesn't change the fact. So two things made up my decision. One, um, simply if everybody, if anybody that wants out of that bucket, I'm happy to take the shares back. Those fillies are heavily sought after because there's no, no available shares of those two fillies. What's in those buckets? That's what there is. I guess I'll start the video by explaining the rules of what is going to take place. I've asked Wendy to post all the yearlings on there. Any available shares will be posted beside them, but locked. All of the clients that own any of the buckets will have 24 hours to buy whatever, to get whatever shares they want that are available. They get first crack, that was always the rule. And at 6 p.m. exactly on Tuesday, every available share of every available horse will be unlocked. That's the fairest way to do it. Now, I will, I, I, I'll continue on with my original statement. Anybody that wants out of that premium horse bucket because I'm not going to Lexington. I just didn't want it to be forced. I didn't want to go to Lexington and just look for an expensive Ohio bread to put in there. We already have 17. We have the 12 we bought, the four home breads, and, the, and Sweeney's full sister coming. We have 17 Ohio breads for 2025. And as far as buying a good horse, you couldn't ask for two better fillies. We got a great pacing colt, top of the line pacing filly, all well under budget. And I love all the trotting colts we got. There's just no need to go there and get one. And that's the reality of it. I want to focus on Lexington in Lexington. I think we did an absolutely phenomenal job in Ohio at the Ohio sale. We were prepared, we went there, we executed, we were lucky. Got some of the horses a lot less than we than we thought we would. All of this is good stuff. So anybody that wants to sell those shares, get out of the premium bucket and sell their shares back to those two fillies, there'll be no problem because they will be highly sought after. Not a problem whatsoever. Now, I need everybody that owns the buckets to understand. I've told everybody, if you want shares put back in and sold, I'm happy to do that because there's not a lot of shares left. Not a lot of these horses have shares left and I warned everybody this could happen. This is one of those sorry, not sorry type situations. This is what I needed to do was go to the sale, do my work. We did a great job and there isn't a lot of shares left. Now, if you're holding a spot in the bucket and you're like, oh, I don't want uh, highest honors, the, the summa cum laude cult. Perfect. Please let me know and I'll put that share, add that share to um, to the shares being sold. Now, I will tell you this. Once they're open, those are your shares. You want to sell them privately, you go right ahead. But I will not be taking them back after 24 hours. That is only fair to everybody. You have ample opportunity to say, I don't want this one or I don't want that one, which is fine. I'm happy to work with everybody, especially right now, because, uh, because there's not a lot of shares left. So I wanted to make those two announcements, especially for the Ohio sale. There's gonna be two horses in the premium bucket. If you no longer want them, let me know. I'll happily take them back. But once we open them up, they are your shares. Just so you know, be forewarned. 
So I'm going to run through uh, who I put in what bucket. I want to reach out to everybody in those buckets right now. Um, in the top bucket, as I said, there'll be one horse outside of the bucket. And almost all the shares are going to be gone anyway. That's number 60. Uh, well, she wasn't expensive anyway, the, the trotting filly, uh, Royal Duchess. She's going to be outside the bucket. There's going to be some shares left of her. Not that many, but some. Um, uh, so we'll start right here. So she's outside of the outside of the bucket system, so to speak. We have um, six, three, it's nine, eleven horses in the buckets. Two in the premium. We just talked about that. We have three in bucket B, and three dandies. Uncle Danny's going to start it off. He was one of my top picks the entire time. Number twenty-six. This is Points North's brother, and he has a knockout. If you guys missed him, go on Facebook. Uh, he was he was doing wheelies in the stall. I said, you want to do wheelies in the stall? You do wheelies on the track. And I went out and I jogged him. Perfect. Hit the pace, paced around. What a beautiful colt. Uh, certainly love that guy. And then we threw in 189 also. This is the one that Amy picked out. And I love this colt too. She did a great job with this guy. Super mind. This is the creatine. Um, this is the creatine out of the Donato Hanover Mare. I, I really, really like this colt. So that's who's going to make up bucket B. The B partnership, the more economical bucket. You're going to get one of my top, you know, really two of my top picks. You're going to get Uncle Danny. You're going to get Highest Honors. And you're going to get Supermind. The top bucket, the, the A bucket, the premium uh, the premium bucket partnership, you're going to get the rest of them. You're going to get number 14, Randy Hutchinson's one of his top picks, Emerald Tom. Now, for those of you waiting, there are some shares left of this guy, and they'll be up maybe 10 or 15 but you're going to have to wait and see how many of our clients buy them up. Yep. Uh, guy tell me to move. Yeah, it's only 25 feet behind his tow truck. I'm sure there's a lot of towing being done today. Um, next is... Uh, next is... Um, okay, we're starting with the B bucket. The Emerald Tom's the first one. The second one is number 31. She's going to go in there. This filly, a million people have asked for shares. She will be completely sold out when we put her up in the bucket. Rose Run Bobby. Nice filly. This is a filly with a little bit of paralysis in her ear. Beautiful video. So number 31 is completely subscribed as of right now. Um, number 51. Number 51 is uh, the half-sister. Diosa de la Danza. This is the half sister to the fastest horse at two to ever put a harness on. Sipping on Sea Rock, 148 and 2 in Lexington. Uh, the Dancing Yankee Philly. Again, another Philly. She will be fully subscribed. Um, that was number 51. Number 171. Now, this is a colt. There's going to be a lot of shares left of this guy. I, I was surprised. This is what horse that I picked, what I would call a flyer. I liked him so much. In a sale where we got everything discounted, almost grossly in some cases, um, we got an Uncle Peter Colt that I love. The mare is eight for eight. Two of the horses I know very, very well. I like this entire family. I like the Colt. I went and looked at him. I thought he was nice. I think I had priced him a little bit higher when I went and looked at him and then decided, saw him coming down. Everybody that watched this guy come down from the barn area was watching him. No, he bought him for twenty eight thousand. I just, I, I, I just thought he was. I'm not gonna say he was a steal. His pedigree says he's probably worth thirty five, thirty seven. In my mind, but we ended up buying him for twenty eight. There will be some shares of this guy available. Um, I would, unless they're all bought up. And again, that twenty four hour window, uh, when they're gone, they're gone. And for the client saying, please, can you get me a share of this one? Please, I, I have to give first opportunity to the people that bought into the buckets. That was the deal when everybody bought in. Everybody knew it. I know there's going to be some people a little upset or disappointed, but I'm trying to do the best I can for everybody. And I need everybody to understand, especially as we head into Lexington, that the people that speak up for these horses, are the only, they're the only way. I get it. Some people, you want to pick your own horses. I'm not disparaging you. I'm not saying you shouldn't. This is what you should do. You guys, I don't feel slighted in the least. But I need everybody to understand that the only way that I that I can have confidence to bid on the horses we want is if people are speaking for them. And those are the people that are going to get first dibs at the horses. And that is only fair. 
So number 171 is um, is our horse. He's a fearless Peter. Ooh, can't have any more here. He's us. And I've changed that name. Um, 220. 220, uh, again, another really, really good. Wait until you see this horse. There's going to be shares left of him, but uh, and I think there'll probably be shares left of him after the 24. His pedigree's nice, but it's not dynamic. Wait until you see the horse. When you see him, and you see him on the track, then you will know what I'm talking about. Beautiful video, beautiful presence, just a really, really nice colt. Had to know is in bucket A also, and the last horse in bucket A is fully subscribed also, I believe. That is... Um, uh, Randy Hutchins, another one of his picks. He had three. We all we all kind of agreed on everything. These are the three that he really stuck up for, and the price point on them just simply made sense, so we bought them. And the last one is Steph's Hope. This is a What the Hill Philly. Again, the cold certified magical Steph. If you've been buying horses in Ohio at all over the last five years, you have looked at every one of his brothers and sisters, uh, every one of her brothers and sisters in that time frame. Just a really, really nice filly, and I like everything about her. Really easy pickup for twenty five thousand and fully subscribed. So I, I'm not going to tell you who's who's available and who's uh, who's not as far as Tuesday goes. I can tell you as we start into Monday, who has some shares. You'll be able to buy a few shares in number sixty. They'll go up right away because she's outside the bucket. You'll be able to. Uh, well, the easiest way is to just go like this. Just go like this. I'm moving it right now, guys. These guys are terribly worried about this. Um, number 14 will have some shares left as of Monday. I can't tell you as of Tuesday. Uh, Uncle Danny is fully subscribed. Uh, Highest Honors, I believe, fully subscribed. Rose Run Robbie, fully subscribed. Diosa Della Danza, fully subscribed. Uh, Aunt Sarah, fully subscribed. Royal Duchess will have some shares. Not many, but some. Uh, Megan's Lucky Day will have none. Um, he's a fearless. Pe here's a fearless Peter. We'll have none, or we'll have some. Oh, you gotta have this to be back here too. Yeah, I have a, I have one. I just haven't got to uh, Mr. Terry yet. Thank you. These guys are playing around. Jesus. Uh, Super Mind. Uh, he might have some. I uh, had to know. We'll have a few, and Steps Hope will have none. There's the breakdown of the horses and how they shook out right here in Ohio. I know there's gonna be people waiting for shares and looking for shares, but as I said, guys, and this is important as we head to Lexington, every bit is important. Um, we were lucky, we come in well under budget, we got the horses we wanted uh, for less than we wanted, but I couldn't have bid on any of them if I didn't have the support of you and the people in the bucket. So it certainly, as I said, no disrespect to anybody meant, I appreciate all the loyalty uh, and all the confidence everybody has shown in buying horses with us. But the only way I can actually do that is if uh, is if people speak up. So that is important. That message is super important as we head into um, as we head into uh, I'm going to park it right there. That is super important as we head into Lexington. Obviously, we are going to conclude these buckets very quickly and close down Ohio for the season, which is fantastic. The first time it's ever happened like that. But we will also start Lexington up. I would say by Wednesday morning, we will have all the buckets posted. I am taking a serious look at what Amy had proposed. I think it's a fantastic idea. Um, probably the best idea she's had since uh, marrying me. <laughs> No, it's a, it's a it's a great idea, and we're gonna put the we're gonna put some of those up. I think it'll be fun. Uh, put the buckets up, and then um, we'll get we'll get uh, moving everything, everything forward for um, for Lexington. So with that, I'll let you go. I will talk to you all soon. I gotta go warm up our boy Gypsy and get racing. It's Jug Week. I hope you're in Delaware. If you are, uh, I hope you got some tickets from us. We got some tickets from the Delaware County Fairgrounds. Um, the Fair Association for the races should be a lot of fun. I am so looking forward to this week. Good luck, everybody, whether you're in the Delaware today or especially Lexington tonight. Good luck to all of you. Take care.